Today, we're gonna find out what the Elugu Neptune 4 Pro can offer us in terms of print quality and tolerances, and these are the prints we're gonna review. First up, we have Hellboy. We gotta get the supports off and take a look at him. He took three hours to print and he was printed at a 0.2 layer height. I left everything stock on the Cura Slicer. I wanted to see what it has to offer right out of the box. It's not bad. However, with supports enabled, there is some errors with the layer height, but the quality actually, it's not too bad if you sanded it up and painted this. And additionally, we have the Tolerance Coin. This is a must if you want to test your printers. Now, as you can see, it works all the way up to 2.0, and everything after that was locked up, and it's not caused by elephant's foot. As you can see, there are no gaps on the bottom or anything that fused together. So I'm curious on why this doesn't work, because the Neptune 4 actually can print every one. Next up, we have this helicopter. This is similar to the Benchy test, and it prints upside down. And the only thing that I like about this is the quality in that it has one movable part. It's very simple. It's a good test run if you don't know what you're doing, testing out printers. And there isn't really any issues with the layers and temperature on this. And it could be because this is Elegoo's filament and not Sunloo's like the Hellboys. Now this is Sunloo filament again, and this is a lattice square. I find this to be a very, very important print to see if you're gonna have stringing issues or artifacts. And so far when I was inspecting the cube, I had very little artifacting, very little blobs. After inspecting the cube, I am impressed on what it was capable of for the lattice square. It just doesn't make sense that it can print everything except the tolerance coin. And there's a few other pet peeves I have about the machine. So let's go over and check that out. So here's what's wrong with my Neptune 4 Pro. It doesn't have the left clip to secure the cable, and it also doesn't have a diffuser bar on the top of the printer for the lights, and my Neptune 4 does. I'm not really impressed by the Pro because I feel like I get better results with my regular Neptune 4. Thanks for watching.